Alright guys, and we are back. Still at Aldia's Keep, so I found out after the fact that lighting those four braziers is now what triggers the dragon. So Mr. Dragon Man is all angry. We're gonna haul ass back here so we don't get absolutely shit all over by that thing. But the dragon is now what drops Aldia's Key. So indeed it was the four braziers. I was basically running back through to check to see if uh, I'd hit all four. And he triggered, so real quick, I quit out of the game, came back. But first Brazier is right there. That is the first Forsaken that we fought. I'm going to run through the four locations that we found as well. So that was our first one. Our second one... Doo -doo 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 -doo, was up and around over there. You can see this guy's out of his cage now, he's not too happy. Oh my god, would you... Listen, either you gotta fucking block or stop. You can't just let up your block every time I'm about to guard break you. I'm not playing this bullshit. Oh my god, you fucking annoying asshole. He is down. Oh, hey, petrified dragon bone, how nice. Alright. So that was one, two. The third is right down there by the bonfire, which we'll show you in a second. And then the fourth is right there. So basically, after you light all four of those, just in case anyone forgot, the fourth one, just to reiterate, right there. So basically, light all four of those pedestals. Following that, go back to the Bone Dragon. Bone Dragon will drop on down. Hopefully it doesn't one-shot you. And at that point, you will have Aldia's key. So now that we have the key, we are ready to proceed through the rest of Aldia's keep, the portion that was previously locked off from us. No. You don't slow chug in front of me. I don't know how this thing hasn't noticed me, and I honestly don't care. We're going to open this door up. Right, so we are now... Either way, kill all these nerds. There's a bunch of them, as you can see. Probably easier to just parry this thing. Or it'll just swing right through me and uh, almost whip my ass. That's, that's another possibility that could also work. Alright. Soul of a Proud Knight. This one's not paying attention. Nope, there he is. Now he is. And that caster is getting quite obnoxious, I gotta say. Oh, shit! And I guess we found our Mimic. So I wonder if that is the, uh, the Mimic that we seek that offers my Black Witch Staff. I've never seen a Mimic do that before. And... Cracked Red Eye Orb. That is not the Mimic we seek. Alright, either way, something back here needs to fucking eat a dick. You. You're like one of the necromancers back towards, uh... Seldora. That's weird. Maybe that's our mimic. Either way, I know that I get my staff down here, so one of you... One of you fucking chests is gonna drop me a staff. Okay. And this one does have a lock. We do a lot more damage now that it's actually, like, exposed. <laughs> Will it?
wilted dusk herb. Large soul of a brave warrior. Another chest. Which that's also a fucking mimic. God damn. Has those little latches on it. Bonfire aesthetic. No luck so far. Let's kill the gargoyle. I love how it just stays completely, like, passive until you shoot it, and then it's like, oh, fuck that, man, I'm breaking out of this cage and whooping your ass. Alright. So, pull the lever. I mean, the thing it did say, you need to pull a lever in the room. Pull the lever which will release all the monsters in the hall, slay them all first, and then you can get stuff from the wooden... Oh. Oh. Release them all, and then you can get stuff from the wooden mimic chest in the same room. Okay, so I fucked it up. So we're gonna try this. That's that's already been pulled. Now that should stay pulled, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna run back, we're gonna rest at the bonfire, and then we'll swing through this room again, just to confirm... But, um, considering I got kind of shitty loot out of those mimics, I think, I think, actually, I might have actually fucked it up. It might not be possible anymore. It might have been that I had to kill everything first. And after killing everything, then I would be able to get a Black Witch's Staff. Which, if that is the case, I royally fucked it up, and it looks like I will have to go back to farming those goddamn witches to get the staff. Which isn't like the end of the world, but it is going to be a minor nuisance. Back, come on up. No reason to fight this thing fair. Welcome to Dark Souls, where spell cheese reigns supreme. Quite a good amount of loot, killing everything it seems. That's a mimic right there. Huh. Maybe that's my Black Witch Staff mimic. Yes, it is! Black Witch's Staff. Fantastic. Alright. Very nice. Very, very nice. So a couple more things we gotta beat our way through before uh, good old guardian dragon. It's not very nice of you, Mr. Mimic. Thought there might be something else that way, but it doesn't seem so. And you drop a fragrant branch, that's nice. Yes, yes, we know. You're very angry, Hippo Man. Don't do your, your raised chin thing at me. You back the fuck up. I don't play that bullshit. Radiant. <sighs> what am I at? Damn, almost at 2 mil. I think 3 mil is where I'm going to end up probably locking my soul memory switching up to that one ring so it's not a major concern yet but I do need to uh, keep an eye on my soul memory here so I know as we get into some of these later bosses we're getting quite a bit of souls I'm 
honestly can't believe I got all the way through this area with the only death being the intentional one that I took so that I could talk to Navlan. Not too fucking shabby. Alright, so, on to the boss. Before we take him out, let us uh, eat up here. Twilight herbs. 22 dark orbs should actually be enough. So we'll put this on. Um, affinity will fall off if I put it on ahead of time. I'll try and put it on as soon as I get into the room. It's not going to do much, but worth having on. So we're going to burn through our dark hills first. And the guardian dragon can be a very easy boss as long as you um, know his tactics. You know. As you can see, we are getting right up under by his legs. That allows us to avoid the fire breath and then absolutely molest him with Dark Hail. There's a reason why I bring him for bosses. When he likes to fly up, I just start running, kind of circle around him like that, and that'll let you basically avoid his uh, fire attacks for the most part. So we're going to wait for him to come back down to hail again. Another big, big hail. Get up alongside him. And he's going to fire breath again. Try and avoid this one. Okay. And it should only take an orb or two to finish you down from here. Yep. Goodbye, Guardian Dragon. Quite underwhelming. Damn it, I'm hitting the button to, uh... Where am I? How do I moat now? There we go. I was hitting the touchpad like I was Bloodborne. Praise it. Punk bitch is dead. And for those that aren't aware, the Guardian Dragon is basically identical to the dragons that we're going to be facing off against up ahead in the Dragon Eerie. So with that in mind, you can effectively kill them in a very similar manner to how he just pooped all over that dragon. Our Dragon Scale. Hit the elevator. And we are on our way. Up into a glorious land filled with dragons. I'm curious to see how this place has changed. I've heard that the dragon, what is it called? The dragon shrine, the last part, has changed quite a bit and is very badass now. The dragon ear I haven't heard anything about, so... Quite curious to see if they've mixed it up. Put more exploders, put more dragons, put less dragons, who knows. really got to go get my Black Witch Staff, which it's not needed for PvE because at the end of the day, the scaling on it is actually lower than that of the uh, the Sunset Staff that I'm already using. So, from a PvE perspective, Sunset Staff is clearly superior, but considering I want to start working in Chime-based hexes as well, I'll be a lot better off with the other one. Man, it does look like there's a lot more. I wonder how many of these you actually got to fight, though. Long have I awaited one such as you. One who might shatter the shackles of fate. One who can set me free. Bearer of the curse. It was my own manifestation that led you here. The ancient dragon has watched over the world for eons past. Take this. Do not resist. The dragon welcomes you. Right, <clears throat> and that gets a permanent slot on our bar. Gotta love the aged feather. That's actually one of the items that Navlan wants you to bring. So, gotta pick that up now. Hmm. You usually have to kick this ladder down. Either way, to Majula we go. Now that we have reached the Eerie, actually, I don't know why I went to Majula. I should be going to uh, to see the blacksmith. We're going to upgrade our staff. Get that taken care of. And I don't know what to do with all these fucking souls, man. Now that I have a ton of souls coming in. You know, because it's like, it's my natural instinct to be like, oh, level up. But then I'm like, no, no, cowboy. You have to stay at 150. We're going to try and stay at an acceptable level with this build. And there's that like that voice in the back of my head, and it's like, nah, fuck that. Go to 50 bigger. Right. So infuse you with the Dark Knight Stone. And then 
to reinforce you. I am out of large titanite. That is quite disappointing. Oh. But not a problem. Whatever. We'll just buy 19. Not like it really matters. And I don't think I have enough chunks, however, to to get this all the way. The stone lady may... Oh, no, I do. I definitely do. Fuck yeah. Boop. Flame. Flame, dear flame, indeed. So, for those that, that want to see the actual comparison, um, you can see this. We're getting 319 plus 204. So in total, that would be, what, 5... 523? So, really strong dark damage there. 105 cast speed. This, however, has... 120 cast speed. As you can see, the damage is quite a bit less, though. We're only getting 263 plus 185. So, that would be 268, 80, be 340, 448, if I'm doing math properly. So, 448 versus, you know, 5, uh, whatever it is, 523. It's not a major difference. But at the same time, obviously, we can cast um, multiple types of spells with this. We can put on our chime-based spells. And then on top of that, you know, well, a weight comparison does weigh a little bit more. But, you know, having that multicast, I'd say, is worth it. So now looking at our spells, um, we're going to work a Great Resonant Soul in. And then we'll... Did that take up... Oh, no, okay, it still takes up two slots for a second. I was like, wait, what? No. Yeah, yeah, it does. Never mind, I'm blind. I'm clearly blind, because it only took up one out of three left. So Great Resonance Soul is a necess necessity of this build. We'll put on the Dark Orbs. Um, I kind of want to still have Hail. But we're going to take that off for now. And uh, I think I'm going to be going for Scraps of Life. I actually think, is Dark Storm? Dark Storm is a two slaughter. Wow. I guess I never used it enough to realize that. But Scraps of Life, quite nice. For PvP. So we'll run with this for now, start adjusting to it. Either way, we're going to wrap this one up a wee bit shorter than usual. Obviously, we're not quite at 20 minutes, but since we just made it into the Dragon Eerie, I would prefer to keep that as an entire area all on its own in a separate video. So, either way, we got our staff. We can now start working in Chime Hexes, which is nice. Great Resonant Soul will hit like a fucking truck. We still got 26 Dark Orbs. Yeah, 26 Dark Orbs which is plenty. Scraps of Life will be a nice AoE to start working into the mix. So, either way, guys, um, you know what, actually, real quick, before we go too much further, you know what, fuck Affinity. I'll pull that off. Really no reason to, to have Affinity on as long as we are pushing PvE content. It just doesn't offer enough worth for us. Put our scraps back on. So we'll knock Affinity off for now. It's not needed for PvE at all. But either way, we are going to wrap this one up here. As I mentioned, make sure to stay tuned. In the next episode, we're going to be going on through, taking on the dragons. And then following that, we have the Dragon Shrine. And after we have the Dragon Shrine, we have the ability to access memories. At that point, we'll likely start knocking out some of the DLC. So thanks for coming by, and we'll see you guys next time.